everyone, it's Chris from Sea Dorner Fitness and today I'm going to tell you five ingredients in foods that you should stay away from. When it comes to your food, I want you to think of food being a source of energy. Okay, and some of you guys are like, whatever. Okay, listen, listen. Why would we put things into our body that have been chemically modified, that have been um, made artificially? Food is actually medicine and healing for your body, okay? So if you are eating things that are not actually even food, your body does not know what to do with them. So let me tell you something. When I started taking out some of these ingredients out of my diet, I noticed a huge difference in my body. So guess what? A calorie is not a calorie. A calorie is not a calorie. It absolutely depends on the quality of your food and what you are putting in your mouth. Let's remember when you are choosing foods to eat that they should typically not be out of a package unless you really have to have them out of a package, okay? When you think of Diller diet, I don't want you to think of that as what you are not allowed to eat but what you do eat. So when you think of the word diet, don't think, oh, this is what I can't eat so I can fit into that dress in a month. I want you to think of it as, this is what I eat all the time. Ingredient number one, to stay away from, if you see this on the ingredient list and anything that you are about to purchase, high fructose corn syrup. This is a sweetener that is made from cornstarch and it is known to cause diabetes, heart disease, could be a huge contributor to fatty liver and also can cause you to become obese or overweight. The scary thing about high fructose corn syrup it is that it's hidden in all kinds of food, bread, yogurt, uh, things you would expect like ice cream and candy, but watch out for those packaged diet foods because sometimes you will find this in there. Because this is a highly processed food, your body does not know what to do with it and what happens? Havoc in your body. High fructose corn syrup, get rid of it. Ingredient number two to stay away from, hydrogenated oils. Vegetable oil that has been chemically modified is a hydrogenated oil. And then that turns into, I'm sure you've heard the word, trans fat, okay? Trans fat, they raise the bad cholesterol and they lower your good cholesterol. It's a major contributor to heart disease. So hydrogenated oils, get rid of it. Or, now this may be surprising to you, but canola oil. And people say to me, but Chris, that's vegetable oil. It is not a great source of nutrients as opposed to other oils like avocado oil or extra virgin olive oil. And most canola crops that are grown in the United States have been genetically modified, okay? Chemically processed oils or any chemically processed foods should definitely be avoided, okay? Ingredient number four to stay away from, artificial sweeteners. It's right in the name of it, artificial, stay away. You may know these things as Equal, NutraSweet, Splenda, but in an ingredient list, they may be called things as aspartame, sucralose. All right, so watch out for these things hidden in your foods, all right? Artificial sweeteners, no good. They are non-caloric, but your body does not know what to do with them. All right, guys, so number five ingredient to stay away from, if you see it on a list of ingredients, artificial colors. Once again, it's right there in the name, artificial colors, and especially yellow number five. So I want you to think about like the food that you eat. Um, do you like want a side of blue with that, right? What? <laughs> so we don't need food to be artificially colored. Here's something really interesting though. The FDA says, that these artificial colors don't cause an immediate threat to human health. What? Immediate? But guess what? Research shows that over time, ingesting a lot of food that has artificial colors in it can cause attention issues with children and also cause a mutation in your cells that can cause cancer. 
All right, so right there, we want to stay away from artificial colors, artificial ingredients in your foods. So in the description of this video, I'm gonna leave you guys links to articles that you can read just a little bit more in depth about all of these ingredients and let you choose for yourself, okay? Um, my advice to you is when you're picking up a package that has a really long ingredient list that you don't know how to say most of the ingredients, probably put it back. Try to eat as natural as you can and just do your best. Nobody's perfect, we just do our best. We wanna stay healthy, stay fit, have energy, and feel good. So I hope this helped you guys. Thank you so much.